What is Thrive 15? Uh, Thrive 15 is a website that provides entertaining education for entrepreneurs, and it's very practical education. So if you've ever wanted to start a business or grow a business, Thrive teaches you specifically what you need to do to grow a business, but your teachers are actually successful entrepreneurs who uh, are basically millionaires and mentors and everyday success stories, people who've, who've actually done it. Now, these people that have done it, they're not giving away this advice free, right? I mean, this costs money, there's a subscription. How do you know that there's demand for this? Well, I, get, I am a, a small business consultant. I was the entrepreneur of the year for the state of Oklahoma back in 2007 from the SBA. And I get hundreds of calls um, per month from entrepreneurs looking to grow their business, looking to start a business, and they just don't know what to do. And a lot of people have formal education and degrees, but they don't know the practical step-by-step -step knowledge or uh, practical steps they can take to grow a business. And so we decided to uh, provide some practical training, but to also make it very entertaining. So you're going to laugh and learn. It's like watching The Office while learning education. It's a lot of fun. And will you learn in different industry groups? I mean, are there different areas to select? Well, specifically, if you want to learn leadership, uh, your teacher will be David Robinson. If you want to learn management, uh, Lee Cockrell, the man who used to run Walt Disney World Resorts, will be teaching you how to manage. He used to manage 40,000 people. There's HR, there's sales, there's capital. Anything you ever want to learn to start a business or grow one, uh, it'll be up there on Thrive 15. All right. Well, David Robinson, come in on this. Uh, how did you get connected with Thrive 15? Well, Clay, uh, Clay was close to a friend of mine, Paul Pressey, who... Um, uh, who called me up and said, David, uh, I know you're a teacher at heart, so uh, I think you'll be really interested in this. And, and I actually, I, I love the idea. You know, having started a, a nonprofit myself and having to learn on the go uh, how to run a board meeting, how to raise money, and then now starting businesses on my own, um, it, it's, it, I think it's something that is needed. Admiral Capital Corp., this is one of the companies that you co founded, David Robinson. What does it do? What does yes. it invest in? Give us some idea. Well, primarily right now we have a, a real estate fund. Um, we invest in, uh, we're a value-add investor, uh, hotels, uh, multifamily, uh, you know, we office buildings around the country. Uh, our partner is USAA. Uh, they've put $50 million into our first fund, and they are uh, a, an operating partner, not, not an operating partner, but a, a partner in the general partnership for uh, with us so um, we've been very fortunate it's gone very well and we're working uh, on raising a second fund now tell us about Mark Lassery and his group's bid for the Milwaukee Bucks what's your relationship with <laughs> Mark. Mark are you gonna be calling him up and giving him any on-the-court advice well that's funny I met Mark through Admiral Capital we were doing some investing and got a chance to talk with him through Avenue but uh, but now you know here's this big uh, powerful guy at, uh, now I can be a mentor to him in my business, so I, I'm looking forward to it. I, I think he he's um, he's a very smart guy, clearly, and uh, I, I think he's gonna he knows that it's a long journey to turn that team around and make it successful. And I think that's what his, his desire is going to be. All right. So as a minority owner in the San Antonio Spurs, where you excelled, wondering if you can just comment on the controversy this week about the comments related to Donald Sterling, the owner of the Los Angeles Clippers. Yeah, you know, those were real unfortunate, and um, regardless of how they came to light, those comments are highly disturbing to a lot of people, um, and especially a lot of people who love basketball and love the NBA. So it was particularly damaging to the NBA brand, and, and as an owner myself, I, I, I'm embarrassed to you know, be associated with those type of comments. So, um, so I think Adam's, uh, Adam did a great job of... of responding quickly decisively uh, and I, I think he'll find good support uh, among the ownership group so you support uh, what Adam Silver did the action that he took oh absolutely you know Adam is um, he's a smart guy and he's, he's he's been around the league for a long time he hasn't been fully responsible for every decision for a long time but he's been in the mix and um, and and certainly I think he's ready for the big stage uh, and I think he you know he he took the proper steps and uh, I think he took a, a potentially explosive situation that could have damaged our brand, our product, and, uh, and showed people that we're very serious uh, about uh, uh, the way we conduct our business. David Robinson, I know that you've got that minority stake in the San Antonio Spurs, but who's, you think, maybe going to be the next owner of the L.A. Clippers? Who would you like to see join the <laughs> league? Oprah Winfrey, perhaps? Who would I like to see? 
Yeah, well, you know, I think that would be a great, um, a great addition to the NBA. And you know, it's fun when people. Uh, I know I love Magic, and Magic would be a great owner. But I, I love when people who are, are outside of the um, NBA circle uh, who come in and, and show an interest in what we're doing. Um, I think there are several candidates who could be very fun owners and uh, and add add to the diversity and the and the value of the of the league. As part of that uh, ownership structure, uh, the deal won't necessarily get done. There won't be a change of ownership until the team is sold perhaps later this year. Uh, as a minority owner, what advice or direction would you give for anyone who's thinking of buying the team? Wow. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot to consider. Uh, you know, I'm... I'm I've only been an owner really since I've retired, and, and I've kind of learned from a great franchise, obviously, in San Antonio. Um, our management has been outstanding. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of things to consider, and especially if you want to build a great team that takes time and patience. Uh, and, and I would say, you know, just get the right people and put your trust in them. I see a lot of franchises that flip through coaches flip through players but you've got to find somebody that you're going to trust and you, you've got to walk with them and and uh clearly the spurs have a good uh a good track record and a good have set down a good pattern for people to follow are the spurs going to take the title <laughs> you're asking me uh yes <laughs> yes you know, i like the way they're playing you know dallas is playing great i they I, i'm not taking away anything from dallas i think they they've risen to the occasion for an eight seed they look fantastic uh, but I like the way our guys have played. They played, you know, 82 games very, very well. Uh, they've proven during the regular season that they were the best team. And, and now here's an opportunity for us to, to prove during the playoffs that we can rise to the occasion as well. Clay Clark, I don't want to leave you out of this because, of course, this is all about mentoring. And there's an online site, Thrive 15, that you're producing various videos and connections with professionals. What kind of mentoring, when you do this, also, what kind of mentoring or advice would you give to the current ownership of the Los Angeles Clippers? Is there any way that they can? I think they should log on to Thrive15.com and watch David Robinson talk about leadership. <laughs> there you go, right? Because this guy has done it the right way, and he's balanced why faith, family, called... and finances for a long time. So why I'm sure they can learn something from this guy. Thrive15. Well, you can learn uh, what you need to know in 15-minute segments. You see, most entrepreneurs have very little time and even less money. And so the idea is you can log on to Thrive 15 and in 15 minutes you can get little uh, snippets of education that will help you or you can watch expansive amounts of information if you really want to log on for vast periods of time.